Hey you all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be talking about Microsoft OneNote on Windows. Specifically, how malicious threat actors are using it to deliver malware and to gain initial access onto their targets. We will also be demonstrating step by step how we can build a malicious OneNote file to deliver malware to our target. This can be used to test your own organization and to test your security controls as they should be able to detect and prevent the OneNote malware delivery techniques. In this article published by the Assume Bridge, the author details on how OneNote can be abused to deliver malware. It is recommended to go through the article. The link to this article will be in the video's description, so be sure to check it out. We will be scrolling through the article quickly to have an understanding on what we will be doing in this video, as we will be building our own similar proof of concept later on in the video. So basically, it is required to build a pretext. A pretext is something you need to come up with with a convincing way to convince your victims to double click the hidden attachments in the OneNote. The hidden malicious scripts are all behind a button and it completely fills up the space of the button. No matter where you double click on the button, the malicious scripts behind the button will then be executed. On a high level, this is the idea of how we can use OneNote to deliver malware. So now we have a clearer picture of what we are about to do, let's get started. We are not going to use the same license thing that the article shown. Instead, let's try something else. First, let's get a sample copy of some confidential looking financial data. Okay, next, we are going to look up on some image blurring tool. We need to blur the sample financial data that we have just downloaded. Okay, this looks good. Let's give this a try to blur the financial data image. Okay, great. Let's download the blurred financial data image now. Okay, next, the button generator. Let's change the default text to double click to view. And then we can download the button. Okay, this looks good. Now we have everything that we need. A blurred financial image, sample data, the button, and what is left now is basically the malicious scripts that will be hiding behind the button. So this is the sample financial data that we have downloaded. We don't really need this. Instead, we will use the blurred version. Let's get that. Great, this looks really good. And now the button. Alright guys, you all should have a clearer picture now on what we are about to build. Basically, a blurred image and a button that will convince the target to double click on the button so as to view the image. Looks pretty good, I hope. For the malicious script, let's test out something simple first, like a batch file that will execute, for example, notepad as a test. Okay. Let's attach the batch file now into the OneNote. So I guess we are supposed to hide the script like this. The button should be covering the OK.batch OK file. We will then need to right click on the button and go to order and bring the button image to the front so that it will be covering the script. So now if we double click on the button image, the clicks should go through the button and execute the script behind it. Nice, it worked. Alright, now let's clean up the script. Let's proceed on with something more malicious like a VBS reverse shell script. Before we continue, it should be noted that Windows Defender has been turned off to help facilitate the demo. It will be time consuming to come up with Windows Defender bypasses for this. There are several videos on my channel that show how Windows Defender can be bypassed. So if you are interested in that, feel free to check out the other videos. Alright, let's hop over to our Kali machine and use MSF Venom to generate a VBS reverse shell. 
Let's copy and paste the content of the VBS reverse shell over to our Windows machine. Now, let's attach the VBS reverse shell as a file attachment onto the OneNote. Alright, we will need to copy and paste multiple times to make sure that it is sufficient to fill up the entire width of the button image. Cool, this looks perfect. Let's shift it all properly on top of the blurred financial data image. And finally, let's bring the button image to the front. Whoa, this really looks beautiful. This is definitely gonna work. Let's double click on the button to view the super confidential financial data now. Oh, before that, we will need to set up a listener on our Kali machine to receive the incoming reverse shell on port 8443. Alright, now, Let's view the financial data by double-clicking on the button. And we have it, a reverse shell on our Kali machine. Now that is left is to export the OneNote file out as a file and send it off to the targets that we want to hack into. It's a pretty nice trick and creative using OneNote now to deliver malware like that. Alright, I will be concluding the video here. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. I have recently created a few t-shirt designs that are related to offensive security on Redbubble. They are pretty funny and relatable. Feel free to check them out. The link to the Redbubble shop will be in the video's description. And also, please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.